Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Walden from maggiescrochet.com and every once in a while in crochet there are these defining moments and I really think that this board is one of them. This is so beautiful. I just love this. I've just been walking it around the office and this is to introduce a series of flower videos that we're doing here on YouTube and we're going to do videos on every single one of these flowers and then there's going to be several other flowers also and most of these were done with worsted weight yarn and all different um, brands of yarn were used for this and um, i just think it's really beautiful look at this and so you could it's a great way to use up scraps and this one flower down at the bottom, the, let me see, I gotta go this way. The pink one here, it, I made it big enough so you could actually put like a little uh, votive candle in the middle. And you could use these like for, to decorate scarves or hats or um, just anything, placements, anything. I just love these things. So anyway, well, I'm, we're gonna take you to a close up lesson and Christina is gonna show you how to make the flowers. And please, please, please subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos because it really helps us out a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey everybody, it's Christina from Maggie's Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to make this aster flower. Um, asters are related to daisies, but they're not exactly the same, but you uh, definitely can see the resemblance here. And I bet if you told someone it was a daisy, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't argue with you. So this aster, uh, or daisy, whichever you want it to be, uh, they're typically either white, blue, pink, uh, they might be kind of purpley in color as well, so you've got all those colors to choose from uh, as you're making this flower. Both this sample and the one I'll be making today are made with worsted weight yarn and a size G6 hook. And we'll be starting right here in the center with our yellow. So go ahead and get that on your hook with a slip knot. We'll start by chaining two. And in the second chain from the hook, so skip this first one, there's the second one, we're going to single crochet and then chain three. And we're gonna do that a total of six times. So that was one single crochet, chain three, that was two. So we're gonna do this a total of six times. Um, and I will come back once I've done that because it's going to take me just a minute to make all of these little loops here. So at the end of round one, you'll have six of these little uh, loops. For round two, we're going to go ahead and chain one. And in the same single crochet that we joined into, we're going to do a single crochet. And we're going to do a picket. Um, pickets are one of those things that it can vary from pattern to pattern. So if your pattern calls for a picket, be sure to check and see exactly what it wants you to do. In this case, we're going to chain three and then slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. Just like that. Now still in that same single crochet, we're going to do another single and another picket. One, two, three, slip stitch in the third. And then we're going to skip over to the next single crochet. Now you want this chain loop to kind of end up in front of your work. Um, I usually find it easiest just to go ahead and do the round and then push them up. Um, but you can certainly do it as you go if you prefer. So what this is going to look like, so we're going to skip over to here. We're going to do a single crochet and a picket. And then another single crochet in the same stitch and another picket. So you can see the chain loop kind of naturally wants to go to the back there, but you just want to reach and kind of pull it forward. It won't be much of a bump, but it'll be a little bit of a bump just like that. So you're going to continue doing this all the way around. Uh, single crochet, picket, single crochet, si picket in each single crochet. Uh, when you get back to the beginning, join it with a slip stitch. And then uh, for round three, we're just going to be uh, single crocheting 
around and again you'll want to make sure the pickets uh, end up on the front side of your work so either make sure they're doing that as you go or push them all forward once you finish the round so I'm going to finish round two here then I'll do round three and I'll come back and show you round four which is when we start doing the petals So this is the uh, center of the flower, rounds one, two, and three. I went ahead and finished off woven my ends. You can see the little pickets here. Now the ones from your second row are gonna stand out a lot more than the ones from your first row. So don't worry if you can't get them to stand up uh, as much as you can these. Now, this pattern does have two rows of petals. You've got kind of a front row and then a back row. Um, if you only want one row then you can work in both loops for this next round I'm about to show you but if you want two rows then you'll be working first in the front loops and then in the back loops so take your petal color I'm gonna use this nice light pink today and go ahead and get that situated on your hook and I'm going to join this uh, with a slip stitch to any single crochet around the edge here so it really doesn't matter which one, just pick your favorite. So like I said, if you only want one row of petals, you can work through the stitches you normally would. But if you want two rows of petals, you're going to want to work only in the front loop. So when you insert your hook, just kind of come up through the middle so that you only have this one strand on your hook. That one being the one closest to you, that's the front loop. So we'll just slip stitch right there. And we'll continue working only in the front loops for the rest of this round. Start by chaining 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then we're going to slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. So skip this first one. There's my second one. Grab a loop, pull it through, pull that same loop through the loop already on my hook. In the next chain, you're going to do a single crochet. In the next one you'll do a half double, for that you'll yarn over, insert into the stitch, grab a loop, pull it through. You've got three loops on your hook at this point, so just yarn over and pull through all three of them at once. In each of the next four chains, you'll do a double crochet. So one, two, three, and four and then you'll do a half double in the next one so now we're kind of going back down in size we had increased in size now we're going back down and then in the last one do a single and then slip stitch in the front loop of the next single crochet so that's the one I just worked in here's the next one again I'm going to come up in the middle of that stitch and slip stitch so that is uh, solid there so that's one petal um, and then I'm just going to repeat that around so I've slip stitched in the next stitch I'll chain 10 again and then I'll do uh, slip stitch single crochet half double four doubles half double single just like I just did and then I'll slip stitch into this next uh, stitch as well. So you will have 18 of these petals once you finish round four. So I'm going to do round four real quick. I'll come back and show you round five. Um, it's very, very similar, just a little tiny bit different, and I'll show you how to uh, work into those back loops as well. So I'm working on round four, and I'll come back when I'm done. So if you only uh, decide to do one row of petals, it would look something like this. You could certainly stop here and have a lovely flower. But if you want to give your project a little more volume, then move on to round five. Uh, at the end of round four, just joined with a slip stitch there. Round five, we still want to make sure we're working on the right side of our work, but we've got to see those back loops. So just take your thumb and kind of fold forward all the petals from the previous round. So let's see, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first single crochet um, 
so the back loop of the same one that I just slip stitched in, I'm just going to go there and slip stitch like that. You can see pretty easily all the back loops that are left. So those will be nice and easy for you to find as you're working this round. So go ahead and slip stitch into your stitch. Uh, the petals are very, very similar, except for this one we're going to chain 11. And I just lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then we'll slip stitch in the second chain from the hook again. Do a single crochet in the next, half double in the next. So we'll yarn over, go right in there, then pull through all three loops. And then the next five are going to be double crochets. Uh, for round four, we did uh, four double crochets in a row. For this one, we've got five double crochets. So there's two, three, four and five. That should leave you with two chains and you'll do a half double. Whoops, lost my yarn. Half double and then a single in the last one. Then again, make sure you've got those petals folded forward. We're going to slip stitch into the back loop of the next single crochet. So just kind of go right down there in the middle and slip stitch. And then you'll just repeat that all the way around. And that will give you a lovely second row of petals. Well guys, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have questions uh, about this project, you may certainly ask them down in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. And in the description, you will find uh, the links to everything you'll need for this project. Thanks for watching. So I'm going from this side to that side and I'm going to pick up my yarn and draw that up and then finish my double crochet like So if you do, let's say I've seen scarves made with only pulling five loops through and they look amazing. They're really cute. They come out.